so what we do is we redefine what brand means. So what do most people think of when you think of a brand? You think of a logo, you think of the name of the company maybe, you think of the, the colors that they use on their website. Uh, and for startups, none of that matters. And so uh, part of what we're trying to do in redefining what a brand means is so that entrepreneurs can take control of what a brand is, what their brand is, instead of believing that they need to, again, in the US, you go and hire design agencies, really super expensive uh, creative geniuses who are going to ask you questions like, you know, what, what kind of dog would you be if you were a dog? Or, you know, wacky questions that, so that they're gonna come up with what your brand story is and suddenly you're gonna be rich and famous. And it just doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It's all ridiculous. And so, really, we want entrepreneurs to think of a brand being the relationship that you have with a customer. So not a, not, it's not a relationship that you have with a brand. It's, the, it's just like a relationship that you have with a human being. So in the old days, back when you know, it was the brand family and you, you stuck with this loyalty, it, the communication was one way, right? You heard of brands through radio or TV or newspaper. But now we know that the communication is two-way, right? That the customer talks back. And the customer actually has more power. So, you know, there's been like uh, recent examples in the US where uh, the CEO of a clothing manufacturer will say, you know, our clothes are not for ugly people or our clothes are not for fat people. And they get just eviscerated, rightfully so, in social media and uh, in, the, in the press. And, the customers fight back, and so they ruin those companies forever because of that, right? So, uh, so it's not a one-way communication anymore, and so you have to think of your brand as being everything that you purposefully do and even choose not to do in your relationship with, uh, with a customer. So Google, for instance, never offered tech support, right? So they offer no tech support. You can't talk to a human being. That's fine. I mean. It's, it is part of their brand. Maybe it's not bad, I don't know. They're very successful. Uh, but you as an entrepreneur get to make a choice like that. We're gonna offer support and we're not gonna offer support. And that decision is part of your brand. So think of everything that you do, the way you market, the way you sell, the quality of the products, or the, the, the cost of the products that establishes your brand. Um, so once you start thinking of that in a, in a very holistic way, that it's the relationship, then if you're a lean startup, the fact that you maybe do real customer development and you go out and you interview your customers, that's the first establishment of a brand. Your, your customer thinks of you right from the beginning as somebody that cares about how I feel and it wants to know what problems I have so they can solve them. But that is the first establishment of the brand.